Sonic 1029. What do I wish would come back in fashion? Uh, this. I wish that would come. I wish everybody looked like this. Then I wouldn't feel so all alone. How many pairs of shoes do I own? I own a lot of shoes, and that's not to brag. I just, I own a lot of crappy shoes. I have a really tough time letting go of old shoes. I have a shelf in my garage of categories of shoes. There's lawn cutting shoes. There's lawn cutting shoes for rainy days, dry days. There's painting shoes. There's just working around the house shoes. Uh, shoes and cardboard boxes, just two things I cannot get rid of. I just can't let go. The best superhero is Deadpool because like you and me, he's broken, he's flawed, and he has a potty mouth. If I could join one band past or present, uh, probably Beastie Boys. I like the clothes they wore. Uh, and they just always look like they're having a good time. Beastie Boys, yeah. What is one thing I've always wanted to do but I haven't? Uh, I would love to play in a band. I don't like, um, I have terrible stage fright though. So I'd probably stand in the very back, no light, and just play power chords on a rhythm guitar. The most underrated song, man, I have preached about this for years and years and years, is that brother and sister act from Ontario somewhere, Len, Steal My Sunshine. That sends me places, good places. What song do I always sing along to? Well, that goes back to what I think is the most underrated song, and that's Len, Steal My Sunshine. I can't understand a word she's saying, uh, but sticky buns in a mason jar. So if somebody knows the actual lyrics to that, please send them to me. Where am I from? I am from all over Saskatchewan. I have lived in every corner of that province. Uh, I always tell people though that I'm from Moose Jaw because that's where I spent most of my years as a kid. Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Goose Hunter's Paradise, the Band City, the Golden Mile, home of Canada's snowbirds. What made me choose to go into radio? Uh, I was out of options? I don't know, I always like the mystery of it. I don't enjoy this part. I like being the person that you can't see, probably for very good reasons. I like the mystery of radio. My favorite band, not necessarily a band, but there's a guy, Neil Young has never let me down musically. I love that guy's music. I mean, some albums are a little out there, they're a little weird, a little hard to get through, but for the most part, I enjoy the surprise. I, know, I enjoy not knowing what I'm gonna get with the next Neil Young record. The first record I ever bought, probably a KISS album. <laughs> I was a kid when KISS first came about and uh, it was like listening to a comic book. Who, could, who wouldn't love KISS? Who is most likely to set the staff microwave on fire? Uh, that'd be Lauren. I know that when I come into work one day and the microwave, there's just a hole in the wall, charred remains of a microwave, I'll be like, oh yeah, Lauren had pizza pops. What do I think makes Bryce smile? I know what makes Bryce smile. Uh, he's a guy who pretends to hate everything. He pretends he just has a rusty old spring where his heart should be. But you show Bryce one of those videos that you see on Facebook in your feed of a, a dog that couldn't trust human beings and then a human comes along and nurses that dog back to health and the dog learns to trust a human again, that's what makes Bryce Kelly smile. Who do you think is most likely to fall asleep at a concert? I guarantee you everybody else who's doing this video is probably saying that it's me. You got Garner and Bryce who are waking up way early to do a morning show, you know? Concerts run late. They're obviously most likely to fall asleep. Well, hell, Garner's up at three in the morning. If he's not the first one to fall asleep, there's a problem. He wakes up early to do the morning show and by like 20 minutes into a concert, he'd be like, I have trouble staying awake at night. I get up so bloody early though. Give me a break. Are you Sonic? Sonic 1029.